Uh, good afternoon, my colleague. The lecture today is about brucellosis. Brucellosis is an uh, infection disease which caused by brucella. Uh, and sources of infection is animals, agricultural animals. And uh, infection is a component increasing of the temperature, formation of uh, destruction of joints, uh, formation of visceral forms of infection. Uh, and formation of um, prolonged, progradient, and chronic forms of infection. So etiology of infection is brucella. There are many kinds of brucella. Brucella militensis, brucella abortus, brucella suis, brucella canis, brucella ovis. So there are many kinds of um, bacteria. So it uh, has very changeable abilities and formation of intracellular forms of uh, infection and uh, um, in, uh, in invasion to bacteria, uh, to um, neutroph neutrophils, macrophages, formation of intracellular forms of infection, uh, and uh, it uh, characterized by activation of phagocytosis, neutrophilosis, yes, uh, and uh, uh, formation of uh, weak immune response and formation of uh, disseminated of infection when bacteria with phagocytes and macrophages uh, penetrate to blood and to internal organs and it causes the formation of visceral forms of infection. So bacteria are very, uh, uh, very able variants of bacteria and it causes the formation of air, S, L forms, it is, it is mutation of bacteria, uh, so it uh, causes the formation of latent, progradient, uh, and chronic forms of infection. Uh, so, and uh, sources of infection is uh, agricultural animals, and uh, mechanism of transmission is contact, alimentary, aerogenic, and factors of transmission, meat from animals, uh, and uh, wool, milk, uh, so milk products, uh, and uh, morpholo morphology substrate of um, brucellosis is uh, systemic productive destruction vasculitis, uh, formation of infection granulomes in different organs, uh, formation of uh, phagocytes, um, macrophages around infection agent, uh, formation of infection granulomes, uh, necrosis of infection granulomes, uh, and uh, uh, formation of um, visceral uh, destruction and polyorgan insufficiency. So, uh, destruction of connective tissue, uh, arthritis, periarthritis, uh, destruction of no endings, uh, for example, destruction of um, genital organs, um, and uh, sometimes bacteria penetrate to gametoencephalic barrier and cause the formation of meningitis and meningoencephalitis. Uh, and uh, so, ways of transmission of infection is, uh, sources of infection is agricultural animals, cows, pigs, lambs, goats, from infected products, meat, milk, uh, so uh, contact mechanism uh, uh, and alimentary mechanism, uh, so uh, very uh, important professional analysis because uh, more often infected, uh, for example, um, farmers, yes, farmers. And uh, so sources of infection uh, and uh, sources of infection is agricultural animals and contact uh, with agricultural animals.
so uh, cows uh, so main brucella which uh, cause infection in cows is brucella abortus brucella abortus uh, and meat from animals milk from animals uh, for example uh, goats lambs so sources of infection of brucella militensis yes uh, goats milk uh, and uh, lambs uh, infected by brucella militensis which cause uh, the uh, more often infection in the patients and brucella militensis is very pathogenic uh, of the patients because it causes the formation of general forms of infection septic forms of infection brucella abortus yes uh, sources of infection is uh, cows lambs uh, so uh, pigs yes pigs uh, and um, pigs infected by brucella suis lambs infected uh, by brucella militensis or brucella ovis brucella suis so in cases of brucellosis in pigs and in lambs you see formation of archaitis in animals uh, so from animals uh, brucella penetrate to organism of the patients penetrate to phagocytes macrophages then penetrate to lymphoid tissue lymphatic nodes uh, formation of hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue. Uh, so then from uh, lymphatic nodes, brucella penetrate to blood and penetrate to internal organs uh, of the patients. Then it pen penetrate to connective tissue of internal organs and formation of secondary focus of infection, formation infection granulums. And uh, bacteria uh, synthesis of exotoxin, which cause the increasing of permeability of blood vessels and penetration, different uh, uh, phagocytes, macrophages, neutrophils around bacteria, it causes the formation infection granulums. Brucella canis, uh, so. Dog, dogs is infected by brucella canis, brucella militensis, yes, uh, goats infected by brucella militensis, brucella militensis or brucella ovis. So let's speak about pathogenesis of uh, brucellosis. Uh, for example, uh, infection uh, sources of, of infection is animals and from animals bacteria uh, penetrate to organism of the patients uh, with uh, alimentary products meat milk uh, and uh, uh, so in sometimes aerogenic contact uh, ways of transmissions when bacteria penetrate to uh, intestinal system uh, respiratory system then bacteria penetrate to lymphatic nodes uh, and uh, cause hyperplasia of lymphoid cells, uh, lymphadenopathia uh, and uh, keep in lymphatic tissue. Then from lymphatic nodes, bacteria penetrate to blood formation of bacteremia and the toxinemia, uh, which cause the increasing of permeabilities of uh, blood vessels uh, and um, penetration bacteria to internal organs and the formation of infection granulomes in internal organs. So bacteria synthesis of exotoxins, then in blood uh, bacteria are distracted by different factors and it causes the formation of um, formation of 
and the taxonomy, which cause the increasing of permeabilities of blood vessels and migration uh, bacteria to internal organs. So bacteria penetrate to connective tissue of the internal organs. And then uh, we uh, indicate migration of some phagocytes, macrophages, neutrophils to internal organs, which around infection gra granulums, formation of infection granulums in different organs. In the liver, in the lung, in the brain, in connective tissue, in joints, in muscles, so different localization of infection granulums. Uh, and localization of infection granulums characterized by the uh, clinic forms of infection. So, and uh, um, sometimes um, mutation of bacteria uh, and the synthesis of antibodies, uh, formation of immune complex, uh, and immune complex cause the destruction of target organs, activation of outer immune mechanism, so uh, formation of target organs, um, nephritis, myocarditis, hepatitis, polyneuritis, so um, immune complex, destruction of nerve endings, formation of neuropathy, po polyradicular neuropathy. Sometimes uh, immune complex causes the destruction of genital organs and formation of uh, prostatitis, um, salpinga afaritis, uh, endometritis. Uh, so, uh, sometimes bacteria penetrate to gametoencephalic barrier and cause the formation of meningitis, meningoencephalitis, serosal exudation, serosal alteration of liquor, uh, serosal meningitis, sometimes destruction of neurocytes of the brain, formation of neurological syndrome. So, sometimes... Um, um, in cases of weak immune response, uh, it uh, causes the formation of prolonged forms of infection when formation prolonged bacteremia, prolonged endotoxinemia, and it characterized by formation of uh, new metastatic focus of infection and progressive forms of infection. Uh, so, um, and the formation of uh, arthritis, formation of alveolitis, so, bacteria cause the destruction of alveoles and formation of um, interstitial pneumonia, uh, alveolitis, respiratory insufficiency. Uh, immune complex uh, cause the destruction of myocardium and cause the formation of cardiovascular insufficiency, vasculitis, myocarditis. Uh, immune complex cause the destruction of retina and for formation of chorioretinitis. Uh, so, uh, polyorgans uh, syndrome uh, disorders we indicate in the infection. So, uh, we see that main phase of pathogenesis is formation of endotoxinemia and exotoxinemia, which cause the increasing of permeability of blood vessels. When bacteria penetrate to internal organs, then formation of infection granulomes in internal organs. Weak immune response, weak uh, uh, phagocytosis, uh, and uh, when uh, there is no destruction of brucella and with uh, phagocytes and macrophages, uh, bacteria are persistent in macroorganism and uh, in the, uh, penetrate to internal Organs. It is characterized by formation of prolonged and visceral forms of infection. Sometimes in uh, patients with weak uh, immune response, it causes the formation of septic forms of infection, uh, when it is characterized by massive bacteremia, massive endotoxinemia, higher fever in the patients, uh, and uh, formation of polyorgans insufficiency, cardiovascular insufficiency. Uh, 
respiratory insufficiency, renal insufficiency, hyperplasia of parenchyma of parenchyma of internal organs and reaction of mesenchymal reaction in the liver, in the spleen, formation of hepatosplena megaly, so and formation of hyperplasia of connective tissue, hyperregeneration of connective tissue, and formation of fibrositis, cellulitis around joints. So sometimes formation of fibrosis and calcification of eosinophilic granulomes of infection granulomes which form in internal organs. Formation of fibrositis and calcification of infection granulomes. Uh, weak immune response, so weak phagocytosis, uh, and uh, so um, formation of reinfection of uh, the patients, uh, formation of uh, hypersensitivity immune response, synthesis of outer antibodies, synthesis of immune complex, which cause the destruction of target organs, and formation of alveolitis, myocarditis, nephritis, Uh, but more often we indicate destruction of connective tissue and formation of arthritis, myositis, destruction of no endings, formation of polynera radiculopatia, uh, paresis, paralysis, uh, and uh, formation of uh, destruction of genital organs, uh, endometritis, salpingovaritis, and uh, prostatitis. So, uh, according classification, we indication acute brucellosis, acute recurrent brucellosis, chronic active brucellosis, chronic inactive brucellosis, residual uh, forms of brucellosis. Uh, so, such clinical variants will speak. For example, acute Forms of brucellosis characterized by uh, increasing of the temperature, but there is no marked intoxication in those patients. Uh, and uh, um, formation of fibrositis, cellulitis, hyper hyperplasia of connective tissue around joints. Uh, formation of arthritis uh, of the patients, hyperemia, edema, disorders of function of joints, Uh, Gepatis plenomegaly, lymphadenopatia, hyperplasia lymphoid tissue, gepatis plenomegaly in the patient. So, sometimes uh, septic forms of brucellosis is characterized by the fever, intoxication, uh, gepatis plenomegaly, but there is no, uh, more often there is no metastatic focus of infection. Sometimes acute recurrent uh, brucellosis, it is acute uh, recurrent forms characterized by formation uh, uh, another metastatic focus of infection. For, for, uh, sorry, uh, so in those patients, we indicate uh, formation of metastatic focus of infection, for example, polyneuro uh, radiculopathia. Destruction of nerve endings. Uh, formation of uh, gepatosplenomegaly. Uh, formation of disorders of genital organs. Uh, prostatitis, endometritis, and salpingovaritis. So penetration uh, infection to the lung, myocard, and formation of secondary focus of infection. Alveolitis, myocarditis, sometimes penetration bacteria to meningoencephalic barrier and cause the formation of 
meningitis and meningoencephalitis. So meningeal symptoms uh, and uh, um, serosal alteration of the liquor, serosal meningitis, uh, destruction of uh, neurocytes of brain, uh, formation of focus, the disorders, paresis, and paralysis, clonic cramps in the patient. Uh, so, uh, it is uh, acute recurrent uh, forms of brutalosis when formation uh, new focuses of infection. It's characterized by uh, uh, progressive forms of infection, recurrent form of, of uh, infection, uh, which uh, cause uh, formation of uh, prolonged and chronic forms of brucellosis. Uh, acute forms of brucellosis last no more than three months. If uh, we observe the uh, reactivation of infection, more than three months, it's characterized by subactive forms of brucellosis. And when we absorb the progressive of infection more than six months, it is chronic forms of brucellosis. More than six months, uh, if uh, the patients keep brucellosis more than six months, it's characterized by formation of chronic brucellosis. But uh, we indication two variants of chronic forms, uh, for example, chronic active forms of brucellosis and chronic inactive forms of brucellosis. Chronic active forms characterized by um, progressive variants of chronic forms when formation a new metastatic focus of infection. So it's characterized by progression of infections, prolonged bacteremia, activation of autoimmune mechanism, uh, formation of touch tokens, immune complex, uh, for example, formation not only uh, arthritis um, uh, and destruction of genital organs, uh, prostatitis, salpingophoritis, endometritis, not only destruction of no endings, polyneuropathia, but also formation of myocarditis, uh, polyne uh, polyneuritis, meningoencephalitis, alveolitis, sometimes destruction of retina, chorioretinitis, nephritis. So, uh, formation of new different metastatic focus of infection. Uh, chronic inactive variants characterized by uh, favorable variant of infection. There is no formation of new focus of infection. There is no formation of new metastatic focus of infection. Uh, and there is no progressive variance of infection. Uh, so, um, in the chronic inactive uh, variant of brucellosis, uh, prognosis of infection is more favorable. And then, uh, some uh, many months, some many years of chronic forms of brucellosis, it causes the formation of agenic destruction of internal organs, formation of residual forms of infection. Uh, so, it causes the formation of severe forms of uh, arthrosis, uh, ankylosis of joints. Uh, so it causes uh, the destruction of myocard and formation of cardiomyopathia, uh, cardiovascular insufficiency. It causes the destruction of alveoles and formation of respiratory insufficiency. Uh, it causes the destruction of no endings and uh, it causes the formation of severe forms of neuropathia, polyneuropathia, destruction of central nervous system paresis, paralysis uh, of the patients, uh, destruction of retina and formation of, uh, form, uh, uh, formation of um, polyorgans insufficiency in the patients, yes, uh, in residual forms of infection. There is no active uh, forms of bacteria, there is no uh, circulation of bacteria in, in the blood, uh, but in those patients, we indication formation of outcomes of infection process and uh, 
severe uh, ogenic destruction of internal organs, disorders of function of many organs. So such clinical forms of brucellosis. You see uh, on those pictures destruction of uh, different organs which involve two pathological process because activation of autoimmune mechanism, immune complex, uh, synthesis of autoantibodies, which cause the destruction of different organs, and formation infection granulums in internal organs, uh, which are characterized by uh, different visceral forms of uh, brucellosis. For example, ocular forms, which cause the formation of retina, retinitis, uh, iridocyclitis. Uh, so, uh, it's characterized by destruction of central nervous system, meningitis, encephalitis, disorders of uh, emotional, mental um, characteristic of the patients, uh, peripheral uh, neuropathy, polyradicular neuropathy. Uh, so, destruction of the lung, alveolitis, pneumonia, interstitial pneumonia, uh, and uh, dyspnea, respiratory insufficiency, proliferation of connective tissue in the lung, then destruction of myocardium, uh, cardiovascular insufficiency, myocarditis, uh, cardiomyopathy, endocarditis, pericarditis. Yes, sometimes destruction of gastrointestinal system, destruction of hepatocytes, increasing of transaminase, increasing of bilirubin, uh, disorders of biochemical uh, characteristic, hyperbilirubinemia, hypertransaminosemia. Yes, uh, sometimes uh, gastrointestinal syndrome, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, uh, next, uh, destruction of genital organs, endometritis, uh, prostatitis, salpingophoritis, uh, and destruction of the skin, formation of dermatitis, uh, rash on the skin, uh, itching of skin, papular rash, macular rash uh, of the patients. Then uh, destruction of um, joints of the patients, arthritis, periarthritis, periarthritis, uh, destruction of muscles of the patients, myositis, uh, and sacroiliitis. Uh, it is very import important informative pathogenic symptoms of the patients. And so um, you, you see deforma deformation, edema, gyperemia, disorders of the function of joints. Uh, hyperplasia of connective tissue uh, of the patients and formation of um, fibrositis, cellulitis around the joints of the patients. Fibrosite cellulitis around joints of the patients. Sacroiliitis. Sacroiliitis. And uh, polyradicular neuropathy. Uh, Gyperemia, edema, disorders of function of joints. Tendovaginitis. Periarthritis, periarthritis, pararthritis. And complications of the patients, uh, periastitis, arthritis, periarthritis, sacroiliitis, chronic synoviitis. Destruction of nerve endings, formation of neuritis, Encephalitis, meningitis, meningoencephalitis. 
destruction of retina, loss of vision of the patients, destruction of myocardium, endocarditis, cardiomyopathy, diffusion cardiosclerosis, alveolitis, nephritis, dermatitis, uh, meningitis, encephalitis, so such clinical uh, manifestation uh, in the patients with brucellosis. Let's speak about of diagnostic of brucellosis. It is very important to know anamnesis of the patients, contact with animals, contact with agricultural animals. Yes, uh, for example, professional anamnesis, farmers. Uh, yes, uh, and uh, uh, how we can confirm diagnosis? In anamnesis, we indicate uh, epidemia in animals. Yes, for example, an epidemia in cows when formation infection process with uh, brucella abortus, epidemia in um, goats and uh, ovis, lambs when formation of brucella militensis and brucella ovis, uh, epidemia in uh, dogs uh, when formation infection process uh, with uh, brucella canis, uh, epidemia in pigs when formation uh, epidemia with brucella suis. So, indication of bacteria by polymerase reactions. So we indicate all biological substrate. No, uh, for example, uh, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, yes, feces uh, of the patients, urine of the patients, uh, so blood of the patients in ca cases of septic forms of infection. Uh, so indication DNA of Borrelia in blood of the patients by polymerase reactions. Uh, serological reactions, right reactions, diagnostic title is 200. A reaction of passive gem agglutination when the indication title of antibodies in blood. Allies methods when the indication antibodies in blood too. Uh, Burnet test when the indication allergic test, when diameter of papule uh, more than one centimeter, it is a positive test Burnet. For example, uh, we are in the introduction, um, allergic, al uh, allergen, brucellin, intracutaneous, and uh, then after uh, 24 hours, we indicate uh, diameter of the papule. If diameter uh, of the papule is more than one centimeter, it is positive test of infection. It is characterized by hypersensitivity of macroorganism of brucellosis. Uh, very uh, very um, uh, informative gemogram blood picture. For example, leukopenia, lymphomonocytosis. Increasing of blood sedimentation rate, uh, anemia, thrombocytopenia, and modern methods of examination, indication of bacteria uh, in the cells, indication intracellular forms of brucella by microchip, by microchip. We use microchip for indication of bacteria of intracellular forms of bacteria. And treatment of infection, for example, main antibiotics, uh, tetracycline, cotrimoxazole, rifampicin, fluoroquinolones. So sometimes we combine antibiotic treatments. In cases of septic forms, we combine, for example, fluoroquinolones and tetracycline, or fluoroquinolones and cotrimoxazole, uh, or fluoroquinolones and rifampicin. So, for example, uh, dose of tetracycline is uh, uh, 0 0.3, three times per day, during 10 days. Cotrimoxazole dose is uh, 
1980 to time to day during 10 days. Uh, fluorokinolones, uh, for example, intravenously in uh, septic forms, abactal, afloxacin, for example, uh, or uh, aminoglycosides in septic forms, for example, gentamicin, gentamicin dose is 80 mg to time per day. And uh, antibiotic treatment lasts nearby from four up to six weeks for prophylactic of uh, progredients and chronic forms of infection. We administer non-steroids uh, for decreasing of hyperimmune response or decreasing of immune complex mechanism. Sometimes we administer pulse courses of steroids. Uh, sometimes uh, we administer immunomodulator for example, immunofan, interleukin-2, it is recombinant forms of interleukin-2. Metabolic treatment, vitamins, uh, and uh, in cases in the phase of latent phase, we administer physio treatment, balneotherapy, for example, uh, treatment of chronic forms of infection, Sanation of chronic focus of infection. Antihistaminic treatment. Metabolic treatment. Vitamins. Uh, and vaccination for patients, for person uh, under the age of eight more than 18 years old, we administer vaccination in group of risk. In group of risk, uh, more than uh, 19 years old. Years old. And uh, uh, revaccination after 10 years in group of risk. So in the patient which uh, contact with animals. Brucellosis uh, we differentiate with chlamydiosis, for example, infection which caused by uh, chlamydia, chlamydia pneumonia, chlamydia percorum, chlamydia ptitatse, chlamydia trachoma, uh, chlamydia paratrachoma. So, in those infection, it causes the formation of uh, destruction of joints. Uretraocular synovialgia syndrome. Uh, it causes the formation of uretraocular synovialgia syndrome. Destruction of joints, destruction of genital organs, uh, and uh, destruction of uh, urinary system. O syndrome of Reiter. O syndrome of urethra oculo synovialne syndrome, which involved to inflammatory process, joints, eyes, and urinary system. Formation of arthritis, retinitis, erythocyclitis, urethritis in those infection. So it is very important of analysis of the patients. Uh, formation of uh, sexual infection uh, and uh, uh, so the sexual ways of transmission of chlamydia trachoma, chlamydia paratrachoma, Sources of infection in chlamydia pneumonia is a patient. Uh, chlamydia percorum, sources of infection is uh, pigs. And chlamydia psittatse, sources of infection in uh, birds. In cases of chlamydia psittatse, is characterized by formation of pneumonia, atypical pneumonia, flu-like syndrome, 
and uh, uh, in progredient in chronicle forms of infection which cause the formation of syndrome of Reiter uretra oculo uh, synovial syndrome destruction of joints eyes and uh, urinary system Next infection we differentiate uh, brucellosis is borreliosis. Borreliosis is infection which caused by a transmissive mechanism, uh, sources of infection is borrelia and factors of transmission of infection is uh, bite of tick. So infection agent is borrelia burdaferi, maybe borrelia garni. Borrelia afrelia, afreli, uh, and the sources of infection, rodents, deer, elk, and uh, mechanism of infection, transmissive, and tick of bite, and uh, reservoir of um, Borrelia is Exodus ricinus. Exodus persulcatus, uh, which uh, infected by tick uh, more than 70%. Maybe alimentary ways of transmission with milk, milk of animals, milk of goats, milk of cows, uh, and uh, so it characterized by spring, summer seasonality. So more often those infections diagnosis in spring and in summer. Uh, and pathogenesis of infection characterized by uh, formation of localized, disseminated, uh, and persistence of bacteria. Uh, so, uh, bite of tick when Borrelia penetrate to the skin, to epithelium of the patients, uh, cause in dil uh, dilatation of blood vessels, formation of erythema uh, of the skin, uh, sometimes migrants, erythema, uh, the ring variant of erythema, then Borrelia penetrate to blood, uh, synthesis of exotoxins, activation of phagocytes, destruction of bacteria, formation of endotoxins, uh, which cause increasing of permeability of blood vessels uh, and penetration bacteria to the blood, formation of Bacteremia, then activation of phagocytes, macrophages, synthesis of interleukin adenes, uh, which cause increasing of permeability of uh, membrane of the cells and blood vessels when Borrelia penetrate to internal organs uh, and formation of uh, infection granulomes in different organs. It's characterized by um, increasing of permeability of blood vessels and migration of phagocytes, macrophages to internal organs and formation of infection granulomes in internal organs and different localization of infection granulomes. For example, in the lung, in the liver, in the brain, in joints, uh, in connective tissue, so different localization of Borrelia. And uh, so it's characterized by formation different visceral forms of infection. So localization of infection granulomes characterized by clinical variant of infection. Uh, so, um, and uh, uh, activation of phagocytes activation of T-lymphocytes, B-lymphocytes, synthesis of autoantibodies, uh, activation of mechanism of autosensibilization, uh, synthesis of immune complex, which cause the destruction of internal organs and formation of target organs 
in varioliosis. Uh, inflammation of different organs, immunology reactions, destruction of connective tissue, uh, so and formation of uh, disorders of different organs. Uh, so, uh, so those mechanisms cause the formation of skin inflammation, formation of erythema, sometimes migrants erythema. So then formation of uh, endotoxinemia, bacteremia, uh, which cause uh, the uh, gematogenic and lymphogenic uh, dissemination of uh, bacteria of organism of the patients when bacteria penetrate to different organs, penetrate to the stroma of internal organs, activation of uh, phagocytosis, uh, formation of lipopolysaccharide complex, Synthesis of interleukin D1, gamma interferons, uh, synthesis of autoantibodies, inflammational reactions, immunoallergic reaction, destruction of connective tissue, migration of phagocytes, macrophages to internal organs, uh, and formation of um, uh, infiltration of uh, those cells around infection agents and formation of infection granulums, uh, which cause the destruction of connective tissue, destruction of microcirculation, uh, disorders of uh, microcirculation, ischemia of internal organs, metabolic disorders, activation of synthesis of autoantibodies, synthesis of immune complex, which cause the destruction of joints and target organs. So such main mechanism of pathogenesis of borreliosis. So, and uh, there is a uh, different variants of bacteremia. Sometimes it causes the formation of prolonged bacteremia, which cause persistence of borrelia in macroorganism, uh, maybe more than 10 years. And sometimes accumulation of bacteria in different uh, organs, for example, in the skin, joints, internal organs, nervous system, fibroblast. So in cases of immune response, it causes reactivation of infection, uh, reactivation of, of bacteremia, reactivation of uh, immune mechanism, uh, and reactivation of infection. But uh, as a rule, uh, more often in cases of adequate treatment, diagnostic and treatment of the patients, it causes the formation of uh, uh, synthesis of antibodies uh, and elimination bacteria and elimination toxins from macroorganism and recovering of the patients. What about the clinic of borreliosis? For example, there is some stage, for example, uh, there is localized stage and disseminate stage. Uh, initial stage, it is, it is localized stage or stage of erythema, ring erythema, which characterized by increasing of the temperature. But there is no high fever. More often, it is subfibrillated temperature, catural syndrome, Gepata megaly, splena megaly, formation of meningeal reactions because bacteria penetrate to meninga encephalic barrier, formation of meningism, uh, meningeal system, and formation of erythema migrans. It may be primary and secondary erythema. And some la later uh, we will uh, look the pictures with patients with erythema. It is ring erythema with cyanosic element. Next stage is disseminate stage. Uh, it formation after one month uh, after beginning of infection during bacteremia and toxinemia, more than one month. It characterized by uh, uh, formation of 
нейрорадикулопатия, менингорадикулопатия, полирадикулоневритис, sometimes encephalitis, невритис of nervous facialis, nervous trigeminus, cause the serosal alteration of meanings, formation of serosal meningitis, lymphocyte cytosis of liquor, meningeal symptoms, headache, nausea, vomiting, brain water, brain vomiting in the patients, formation of cardiomyopathy, cardiology, pericarditis, myocarditis, then formation of secondary erythema, rash on the skin, lymphocytoma, reactive hepatitis, which characterized by increasing of transaminase, increasing of allatosat, and the formation of eyes disorders, retinitis, iridocyclitis, and disorders of genital organs, for example, architis. Then late period of infection, after one and three months of infection, and it's characterized by progressive of asthenic syndrome, headache, insomnia, emotional, mental disorders, destruction of joints, destruction of connective tissue of joints, formation of arthralgia, edema, deprimia of joints, Disorders of function of joints, formation of arthritis, periarthritis. So it is uh, the patient with Lyme arthritis. Diagnosis of the patients is Lyme arthritis. Uh, it is progressive arthritis with destruction of uh, connective tissue. Encephalomyelitis, because bacteria penetrate to uh, brain uh, neurocytes, cause uh, the destruction of nerve endings. Uh, and uh, activation of autoimmune mechanism uh, and autoimmune character of destruction of brains. Formation of mononevritis, uh, it should try by destruction of no endings, memory disorders, emotional disorders of the patients. So, such late period of infection. Uh, and uh, so, uh, we must remember about differentiation, borreliosis and others infection, urine infection, for example, we differentiate um, borreliosis and uh, meningitis, serosal meningitis, for example, serosal meningitis in enteroviral infection, encephalitis, uh, for example, in enteroviral infection, it's characterized by serosal meningitis too, but infection agent is enterovirus. Coxsackie virus with oral mechanism of transmission, with uh, uh, gastroenteritis, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rash on the skin, uh, and uh, uh, conjunctivitis, capteral syndrome, gerpengina of the patients. And then uh, echo virus penetrate to gematoencephalic barrier and cause the formation serosal meningitis, serosal alteration of the liquor, uh, and uh, mental disorders and meningeal symptoms uh, of the patient. There is no mental disorders and emotional disorders in the patient. So it is acute infection. Uh, so we differentiate uh, Borreliosis and uh, brucellosis. Yes, we spoke about brucellosis, but there is another anamnesis in brucellosis. For example, contact with agricultural animals. Yes, and contact respiratory, alimentary mechanism of transmissions uh, from meat, from milk of animals. Yes, uh, professional anamnesis of the patient. Acute forms of infection which are characterized by uh, the fever and 
кібразайтіс, целлюлайтіс, артрайтіс, він інфлемешнал процес, інволф біг джойнс, едіма, гіперімія, дезодес оф фанкшн, оф біг джойнс. And then chronical forms when when formation of visceral forms of infection and formation of metastatic focus of infection. What about laboratory diagnostic of borreliosis? Of borreliosis, it's characterized by anamnesis. Yes, of the patients. Uh, it is very important for diagnostic. Uh, bite of tick uh, live in a endemic, endemic region of infection. Bite of tick uh, live in village, for example. Go to the forest. Uh, so go to the park in uh, uh, spring, in summer, and bite of tick. So sometimes uh, tick uh, may be invasion uh, to the patient from uh, after contact with dog, dogs, cats, uh, so. Uh, and the laboratory diagnostic in blood will indicate leukocytosis, increasing of blood sedimentation rate, and reaction of immunofluorescension. So by methods in, of immunofluorescension, we indication um, antibodies uh, with reaction of reaction uh, by im, uh, non-direct immunofluorescension. Then ELIS methods when we indication antibodies in blood. Then immune blotting when we indication antibodies to bacteria too. And reaction non-direct gem agglutination when we indication the titer of antibodies is more than 80. Diagnostic titer is more then 80. And in, in cases of chronic forms of infection, it characterizes, uh, for example, higher titer of antibodies, class G, yes, uh, in chronic forms of borreliosis. Sometimes we indication uh, affinity uh, of uh, the antibodies with higher level of affinity of antibodies. Antibodies class M and class G. In chronic forms, we indication antibodies class G and higher titer of antibodies. In acute forms of infection, we indicate uh, antibodies class M. Sometimes antibodies class M and G. Uh, a treatments of uh, borreliosis, for example, doxycycline, 100 mg to time during uh, 10 days, sometimes 14 days. Uh, azitromycin, 500 mg per day during 7 days. Uh, sometimes ampicillin, amoxicillin, amoxiclav, dose is 500 mg three times per day during 10 days. In, uh, LS, in uh, later forms of infection, in stage of dissemination of um, borreliosis, we recommend cephalosporins uh, of the uh, third level of uh, cephalosporins and uh, intravenously or intramuscular cephalosporins during two or three weeks. For example, ceftriaxone, uh, two gram per day during three weeks. Cefotaxime, uh, three gram per day during three weeks. Non-steroids, sometimes full therapy of steroids. Antihistaminic, vitamins. Physiotherapy, in cases of formation of arthritis. So, and uh, for prevention of infections, uh, after contact with, uh, uh, after invasion of uh, tick, after bite of tick, we recommend 
prevention course of treatments, doxycycline, 100 mg, two times per day, during five days. You see the picture, the mm, tick on the skin of the patient. Uh, different size of tick on the skin of the patients, big, average forms, very little um, tick, invasion of tick, bite of tick, invasion tick to intracutaneous of the patient. Then after bite of tick formation of erythema, ring erythema with cyanotic element. You see invasion, bite of tick, invasion tick to intracutaneous of the patient. Formation of ring erythema with cyanosis elements. Ring erythema in borreliosis, erythematous forms of borreliosis. It may be primary and secondary forms of erythema, yes, in uh, prolonged forms uh, in later stage of infection, may be migration forms of erythema. Uh, it should rise by progressive of infection process and uh, migration of borrelia, disseminated forms of infection. Uh, and it caused the formation of migration of uh, erythema on the skin. Different syndrome of Rater. It is tropical disorders of joints of the skin in the patients with syndrome of Rater. Syndr syndrome of Rater in cases of uh, chlamydiosis, urethra oculosynovial syndrome, syndrome of Rater. Syndrome of Rater, Syndrome of Rater of the patient. Syndrome Reno, yes, Syndrome Reno, it is a differentiation, uh, infectious, and the Syndrome Reno, it is collagenosis, which characterized by destruction of connective tissue of joint. It is a collagenosis, which characterized by formation of destruction of joints. Uh, and uh, destruction of uh, skin, uh, acrosanosis, formation of necrosis of skin, uh, and uh, disorders of function of joints. You see syndrome Reno, it is collagenosis. There are many touchy tokens in syndrome Reno. Arthritis, pilonephritis, myocarditis, dermatitis. Syndrome Reno. Atrophia of skin and muscles. Uh, dystrophia of skin and uh, tissue in syndrome Reno. Uh, the lecture is over. Thank you for your time.